I have my Midori for personal things. And what I was saying that I got rid of everything to simplify it. So I have hospital appointments at the front pending. When I've been to hospital, I have them at the back. And I have, I've been in hospital a couple of times over the last month or so. <clears throat> so I've kept the letters, the, um, <coughs> the discharge letters, because it gives a, a very good summary of what's happened. <clears throat> And in the middle, I have a very boring uh, bullet journal. Use cheap squared paper that goes in an ordinary file. And I don't, um, I don't, I used to sew them either the figure of eight, but I tend not to bother now. So it's just folded, not even creased um, very much. And it stays in. And the, the nice thing is that if I need a piece of paper, I make a, a doodoo of it. I can pull it out or I can add things in. And I have um, the bullet system index. And then at every corner at the bottom is, is numbered. And so I know where everything is. And the little pencil stays in there. Um, and this one I like the best. It has like a little rubber grips at the bottom. <clears throat> it's a Graph Gear 1000, and I have to say they are £16, which broke my heart. But I can sketch with it and I can write with it. So it's very easy, and it's a 0.5. And I just love this one because you can oh, you can push it down at the end, and then you have the fine mechanical pencil lead coming out. And then I don't often do this because it hurts my hands but you can flick it back and then clip it on there and it will not move. So that stays in my handbag and that's for personal things. Um, but because of the other channels, I've now got to be more organized. So I shall put the pill pot away. So I had a bit of a hunt round. So I, I made, Um, um, my mum's 1940s leather handbag and it has it's very old but it's very thick and I think it's thicker than the Midori yeah it's just a little bit thicker than the so um, it has a clasp, it has the gold things at the end, and of course if you want to do highlighters and pens, I have this lovely metal zip. So basically, I took the gusset out, you can see the stitch marks on the outside, the little stitches, I unpicked it, and I could have taken this off and it would have made a lovely, perfect Midori. I decided to leave that because it actually holds quite a lot. And when you open this, the best thing about it is it's an A4. So you don't, I had made lots of chains and things. Lots of old things are from handbags. Um, and I don't, again, I don't do anything with it. It's loose as this. And then I just use some old Laura Ashley wallpaper. And that's that's how I've made, and very roughly, I have to say, just put things in. So this would be the pocket at this side, and this would be the pocket at this side. And it fits very well. I had a sketch one, a sketchbook I had particularly I've made here. Um, so I may go down back to this one as a Midori desk. It is a bit, and I, I put a little tag on here to hold the elastic. So this is my fake Midori. Um, and it's a little bit scratched. It was, it was a clasp handbag, a clutch handbag from the 1940s. But I really loved it. And I attached a few um, it, old handbag, handbag and jewelry to make the chains. Um, and I used the fishing wire and the fishing hooks at the top and put lots of things to make lots of tags. 
so that I kind of like the idea because so it would still probably go in the bag. I could still take it with me. When you open it, you have a lot of space. I haven't decided what I want to use yet. Uh, hi, Richard. Welcome to Winnie's Designs. Anybody else popping in? I'm going to put my tea and my coffee this morning. Morning, Sam. So the little kitten um, that's under the bed is, has actually popped out of the bed now. <laughs> so I found this one that I picked up at a car boot sale. Um, and I realise it's got a bit battered, so I don't know what's happened to that. Because that was this is a nice size, and it's A5 size, so you can fit your Firefax. I don't think it, it is an original Firefax pocket here. Um, it has pockets at the back, and it has a very large pen loop. Oh, it's from Squatsky. Swarovski. So that's a quite a nice size. So again, I'd probably use the bullet system. But the one thing I have to think about is years ago I made my own inserts for all my file effects. But now my hands, um, and that's actually in front of me because it's not being put away properly. This is the hole puncher. And I don't think I have the hands to 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 punch holes in. And original Filofax um, paper is quite expensive. Oh, v says good morning, Sam. And Alfie's got his new toy. Alfie, you going to say good morning? <laughs> Unfortunately, Alfie's the, the only kid on the block at the minute, so we're still looking for a. A small for, for a baby for him. So I kind of like the idea of that one. It's quite nice because it's not dark. It's got a little bit bash, but of course it's it's quite old and I've had it a long time. I am quite tempted to go back to my gorgeous soft um, hole bone. And I love this one because it's really soft and it has pockets there and there. It has pockets on the outside. And that one but the main reason I love it it has a little zip one as well in here and all the zips are quite nice it has elasticated and a leather pen but what I love about it is it's actually a wallet so that means I could get rid of a purse and it's small enough to have quite a lot of things in it I may resort back to this Next one is one of my faves. Again, it's quite soft. Was a Kensington, a leather Firefox Kensington. Um, and again, I kind of like this one because it has lots of pockets in it for things. And at the back, it has a very large pocket. So you can actually use this as a pencil case. So I could put highlighters in there. Um, and it has a pocket at the back as well and again that's really nice and soft so it's good for your hands and that um is actually smaller so this is a personal size and this is an a5 size um so i'd forgotten i bought this one this has a zip on the outside this one is the cavendish and again, it's it's leather, but it's not quite as soft. Um, has a very nice pen loop at the outside, and it has a zippy pocket on the outside as well. So I kind of like that one, but I do love this one. But it does have a large ring binder as well. So again, I have to think of that. That has a very large one. But I seem to have got quite a lot of things in that one. Now, I bought this for my daughter a couple of years ago, um, and I like this one because it's a zip, so it means that when you put little things in, nothing falls out. Um, and I don't think she used it, bless her. I thought it would be quite good. And it's got a zip, it's got a pocket here, and it's got the pen loop. But you could use this as a little mini pencil case. Um, and that's the Roxy. 
I thought that was a Filofax. I'm convinced that with the Filofax, perhaps it wasn't. Oh, it was a Wilco's own. Um, but I thought that was quite fun. And it has a really nice zip on it. So then we move up to the bigger. And these have been on a dusty shelf, guys. They're a bit messy. Sorry, guys. Just knocked my chat off. Sorry. <laughs> So this one is the Filofax Finsbury A5. So, of course, the nice thing about the A5 is you can get narrow lined paper. Um, and again, this is a huge one of the big ring rings. So you can get lots of things in there. Um, and I made my own tabs and things. So I kind of like this one. You can use a pad and push it down the bottom there got two pen loops and I've had this for a long time and I've only just realized that it has a zip <laughs> it has a zip pocket I didn't realize that so we've got our usual pockets and the nice thing about this is that they're all facing sideways and gonna fall out and again it has a huge a huge ring size there so that would make the perfect death diary but it's a bit too heavy for me to kind of hold, but it would do as a desk. And that one is the Filofax, because of course they've got the Fs at the bottom. Now this isn't, this I've bought as a car boot sale for a pound two, but it has a wonderful zip. And it is a larger binder slightly. And this one is a Franken Covey. So it's huge rings on that one. It's really, really large. Um, it has two pen loops. Um, so this would make a really good, a really good desk diary because you can get lots and lots of things in here. Um, and I love the ones with zips because it means that little bits of paper that you throw in there is going to fall out. But it is quite huge. Now, I have three others. I have three A5. Now, this could do with a bit of a clean, but as I say, keeping about the, the shed outside. And this one is the Identity A4 Organizer. And the only reason I got this one out is, one, it has, obviously, A4. It has a huge expanse. But I may go for this one, even though it's a bit battered and it's a bit ugly, because it has the four rings. So it means the, the refills that I use to fill all the others fit in and I don't have to do anything. So I'm quite tempted to use this one as maybe a desk diary just for the YouTube channels, because I'm not a very organized person. So I'm trying to reorganize the house. I'm trying to reorganize me. So I'm very tempted to use this. And it has the right amount. It has two, four, it has six, um, six dividers. So I'm very tempted to use this. And then this will be like the final diary. Have a mini, a mini medium-sized one for all the notes and the rough. And then have the personal one for other things that I need to nook. So I'm quite tempted to leave this one. Um, obviously, say it wants a, a good clean, but I'm quite tempted to leave this one. And I did have some baby wipes handy, but they've gone now. Sorry, guys, we need a quick slurp this morning. So I'm quite tempted to use that one because, again, it has quite a large. That's quite a large river. Alfie's going to be playing soon. Um, so this is called Identity, and I don't know if they make it anymore. It has the little Firefax things all over them. Um, again, I think I picked about six of these up for a pound at the car boot sale. So I'm very tempted to, to kind of leave that on the desk. Oh, he's got all his toys out this morning. 
so um so i i will do probably a video on the one i choose and why obviously i've chosen that one um i think i, I kind of like the idea of going back to this one <laughs> alfie alfie's got a, a new toy he's got a little bunny so i've got tempted to go back to this one because it's actually soft so i'm I think I may have to go to this one. And, and this one is the the Kensington. The Firefox Kensington. Not sure if they make this one anymore. Um, I have the box for that one. I could sell that one, I suppose, and give it to somebody. Um, I do like this one, though. I'm quite tempted with this one because I just love it. I just love the simplicity of this one and the fact that it's an Midori and I've made it myself. There's also something quite nice about when you make something yourself. So I think it's going to be a toss up between these two. Um, I don't think these are kind of big enough. That's not quite as nice. Um, I could possibly have one for the house as well so i could maybe have another another file facts with other things in and have instead of having everything in one i might do that uh, i might do that and see how it goes normally i like everything in one place um but i think i may have to kind of have one for the home um because what i'm reorganizing the house making things a lot easier for me so um yeah, watch this space for those. So I just thought I, <laughs> I found quite a few when we were moving things around. Um, so I thought that might be quite interesting. But you do kind of accumulate. Really, I do not need this many. <laughs> there's, there's far too many. Uh, but I can't get rid of these. Um, but I, I, may, I may take those to a, a charity. Um, I may take those to a charity. And, of course, I can't ever part with my gorgeous Midori because I love that and I love the system I don't waste paper whereas the Filofax I always tend to waste paper so I think even though it's a Filofax I'm going to be using bullet journal system in each file because I love the bullet journal system you do not waste paper and you're not committed to a diary because I'm, I'm terrible with diaries but the Midori bullet journal uh, combination that I've done for this really works well I'm not under pressure to fill a diary in. Um, oh my, <laughs> I bought um, a chiming um, carriage clock and um, it would not work and it would not chime. And I had it on the mantelpiece for ages. And then when I was moving things about, I put it on a glass table and it started to work. And I'm thinking, all this time, it's, I bought it a couple of years ago and it didn't work. And I'm thinking, well, it's obviously not flat. So I've actually thrown it and I thought, well, it didn't work and I can't get it to work. So I threw it on my mother's cabinet, which I'll show you a picture of uh, later. And it's got little feet is on the desk and the other one's fallen off. So it's actually at a really steep angle and it's just started to work on its own and it's kept perfect time. Um, so all this thing about the carriage clocks have to be level. <laughs> it was rather fun. So bear with me two seconds. We will get rid of these now. I thought that was somebody to help and it's Alfie. Are you going to do that all the time? Are you going to be naughty all day? Alfie's a little boy lost because we lost all the, the two dogs. As they are so big and heavy um, that I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. I think the smaller ones, I think, will do quite well. Um, but it's carrying these around, which is always a bit of a pest. So give me a second, guys, to see if I can get these away. Have you left that bone in the middle of the floor for me to fall on? Well, that's not What's that? Is that your squeak of the squeak squeak? Can you put that somewhere else? He's got a five cents ball. <laughs> he keeps kicking it about. He loves it. He only likes things he can destroy. <laughs> so 
have we got any questions guys oh thank you v i'm sure i will it's just hubby's cold bless him but i may have to keep um drinking fluid so actually i can put that one under there so that's quite handy i'm just going to bob those under there out of the way um so because i've been moving everything around found this um photo album and this is the one that i was going to put the I, I broke all the pockets up and then i stuck the plastic down um and this is the one that i was going to put all my oh i wonder why they're in there and they're not in the other one my peerless um and i'm glad i didn't stick them down because i don't like this i really don't like this so because we've moved every single book um i found my little uh, photo album vintage one and this is the one that i was doing i've done two squares so one's got white on it and one's got a yellow um, so i think i'm going to do um, oh i must have decided to do two squares and this particular one is for my Bible journaling. And this one will have just Derwent watercolour on it because I know that one doesn't go through the Bible pages. So that's a to-do a to do list. Um, and I did find this larger one here. They're both vintage and they have a nicer plastic. This is a, a lot nicer plastic than, than this one. So um, let me just have a look. And it's an easier size. And it's obviously, it was a good idea at the time. I don't like the size. So I think I'm going to put... What I could do is put two squares on each page. And then that square would, would be to put in my other book so i think i'll do that then that's the square that i've got i think i'll do that i'm going to put them in this book because i much prefer this one to this one and it was a good idea at this time it was supposed to be a desk one but i'm not going to use it it's too bulky for my hands so i'm going to i'm going to keep them on two pages but put them in this little one here i think i must must keep them separate. And I did get the labelled ones. If you don't get the labelled ones, for goodness sake, keep them in order because you'll never know what colours they are. So that's the peerless thing that's pending to do. Um, I did a few sketches when I was in hospital, but I couldn't really do much. Um, sketched a few little bits and pieces. I may paint Amy. I did this one with, uh, with Amy. So um, I may paint that one. This is the paper that I love for my Midori. Um, and it's it's a smaller square and it's, it's a little bit nicer paper than the cheaper A4 binder file refill um and i like this particular one for the midori because it fits really well oh no this is this is the one that i use for the, the tiny midori and again i've got it's the hole punching thing i've got to do so this one you fold one way And that gives me one and then we fold that way and that gives me two so for every piece of paper and i don't normally crease it i get three and the <clears throat> i get three sheets to go in here and the end one always has these perforations because obviously um i've taken these out but it's held on with huge staples which i've taken out 
So that one, I always put that one at the back. And I use that one for rough. So I'll write a shopping list or I'll write a daily to-do list. And then when things are done, I can tear that and throw it away. But I've still got the two nice pictures. Uh, the other two, and they'll be for diaries and to-do lists and monthly lists, things things that I do all the time um, that will probably be there for six months. But I found that the, the normal Midori system didn't work for me. So what I always have at the back, I work backwards because I'm left-handed, so it works quite well. Um, I have the rough pieces, um, and I end up with quite a nice little thick book and the back one i will just do either a shopping list or i will do a to-do list and then i can just take that one out and throw it away and it's the nasty rough one and this one will stay in all nice and neat and this is um the monthly calendars this is like two or three months in advance this is certain things i want to do over the next six months so i need to keep that neat and tidy but the to-do list and the daily to-do list and the shopping list is what I call um, scrap paper because once they're done I want to rip them off once the day shot the day it might take me two days to do them um, a couple of days of tasks I, I've done them and I didn't want to kind of bung up the nice uh, bullet journal system so the daily things and the shopping lists anything that's kind of in the next immediate future they go at the back and then I use the horrible ones with the with the with the marks in and that keeps my Midori quite nice and I do the same um, on this one and I like that because it means I never waste I never waste a scrap of paper but the bit that's kind of not very nice as they say and, and it's because I really don't like I don't want 20 or 30 daily to-do lists in with the bullet journal system because as i say once they're done they're done you want rid of them so i keep those daily ones at the back um and again the same with the daily tasks and the shopping list you know once you've got them you don't want them and it would just clog up my nice little um bullet journal system oh hi melody welcome to bunny's designs anybody else popping in so um the only thing I could do, because again, I've got to use this dreaded thing uh, six, two, four, six times. Um, I do have two hole punches, but again, I can't nip them. Filofax have brought out their own little, there's one for this size and there's the A5 size. Um, and I do have them somewhere, but it, it, it's, it's, it's like a plastic ruler that you fold. And when you nip it, it has little plastic um pinholes that push through but it really hurts my hands to do that um so i do like this system and i'm such a tight yorkshire lass i do not want to buy the filofax um this is the pocket size i think this is the personal size this is the kensington kensington personal size which I can, again, you can still have that one in in your bag. It's just the bigger ones that are a bit more difficult. Um, so I like to make my own cheap and cheerful. I think these are about £3.50. Oh, yes, they are three fifty. But I get each page, I get three out. So that's quite nice. And I think this one, which is the personal size, um, I think I get the bigger one. There is a slightly bigger one of this I get as well, which again is 350. And by just folding that one in half, that will give me the personal size. And again, I punch the holes in. And I used to turn, take the corners off as well because it makes that really neat then. But I haven't done that recently because again, it's it's the hole punch, it's the corner punch. Um, looking at these these squares are slightly smaller so i think this is the the rodeo one and i think this one is the cheap 
Filofax one. Um, sorry, the cheap file file folder refill. And they're only about two pounds. So I put that one with that one because otherwise I forget how I did it. Put that one with that one. And again, that's a little job to do. That's another little job that I need to do. And um, I've actually kept some papers. Um, I bought this book um, from Wilco's. It's called Health and Happiness Planner. And um, it was £2.50. And I just loved it. I just thought it was really pretty. And it's to let go of negative things and focus on the good things. So we have a diary kind of thing. Um, sleep patterns, illnesses, happiness. Um, and it's kind of a, a diary of how you feel. And so I thought, actually, I might work through this one. This is a food diary and healthy and exercise as well. So I could actually use that quite well. Um, and that's going to be on the channel. Bunny Designs, health, happiness, fitness and well-being. So I'll be working through that. So, of course, because of the, all the other channels, I need to be a bit more organised. Um, just put me a second, guys. I didn't expect... I'm just wanting to push that under the... Oh, look. That goes there. Put that one on top. And I keep my little sketchbook. And we have a dog action day coming up for the RSPCA. And I bought this from Home Bargains. I do have a few art holes to do, um, but because things are kind of really big, <laughs> I bought big things for my birthday this year. Um, it's it's going to be a bit difficult. And I just realised what I do keep under there is the keyboard. So I've just messed up my own system. I don't think I need that yet. So I bought a couple of these. I think there were three fifty. There's this particular and a smaller one that I use for makeup. And I think there were three pound fifty from um, Home Bargains. But I love the zip. Um, so I've been keeping my sketchbook and a sketch pencil in there. Um, and I kind of like that. It's quite pretty. I'm going for pretty things this time of year. I think. I think I am. <laughs> Have you got any questions? got any questions pop them in capitals so sorry about the, the chime that's going to go <laughs> so i had the the day before i went into hospital oh goodness me sorry guys <laughs> it's like big ben oh well big ben's not chiming now so i'm sorry i have i've stolen big ben <laughs> It's four minutes early, I think. So bear with me a second, guys. Um, let me just... Let me just do this a second. Just bear with me, guys. Have you got any questions? Oh, do you like the sound of it? <laughs> so the, the day before I went to hospital um, was when um, I saw the um, art. art um, it was Help the Heroes. 
And they had um, an exhibition um, in the Mal Galleries. Um, I'll see if I can actually zoom in a little bit now. I wanted to show you my, oops, show the, um, I did want to show my birthday hauls, but they're a little bit big, so I may have to. Oh, sorry guys, I seem to have lost my. That's a bit better. Um, and Amy was doing art for therapy. Um, and it was finishing at lunchtime on the Sunday. So, um, and I bought this, I haven't actually used it, it's a scarf for heroes. And I thought that was so pretty. So we went to the Marl Galleries to the exhibition of um, uh, all the, the wounded um, art, the, the, the wounded soldiers uh, that um, have created the art. I've got a poster for it. Um, I haven't been in this bag. We went, we went to the Marl Galleries and it worked really well. A taxi down to um, Leicester, Leicester, not Leicester Square, Trafalgar Square. There's lots of receipts and serviettes. So I haven't been in this bag for a while. So we went to the Mal Galleries and um, It was, I can find it. And I was hoping to do some miniatures, but I haven't managed to do that because I just not made it. Um, so we did have, and I found it on the Saturday night and it was finishing the next day at lunchtime. So we, we got up early and dived on a train. And then coming back, um, and the next morning at four o'clock is when I woke up with the headache. <laughs> so I went to Casa, I normally do. So I found some Caran pastel paper, uh, pastel paper. So I thought that would be quite nice to have a go with. It was 9.99 and this cream light ochre and uh, slate gray in there so i thought they would be quite good because i've obviously got to the pastels in my beautiful book now so i bought that um and i couldn't resist went to the national gallery uh couldn't resist the drawing and sketching paper um and that was that was nine pounds as well and then they had this mount, which I thought would be quite good because I wanted something for the, the miniatures. I think that's a bit too big, actually. Um, I went to Cass Art and got some acrylic paper. And I think actually I may give this to my daughter. And of course, I bought my favourite six colours. We have lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, cerulean blue, French ultramarine. Um, this one is rouge red light because they didn't have any cadmium red. Quinacinum magenta and then I decided to buy a dioxidine purple. So those were the, those were the acrylic, um, professional acrylics that I bought. Um, and I was going to try and do some acrylics, but actually, I think I may actually put those away for my daughter for Christmas, I think. Um, I did buy another one. This was Sea White of Brighton. Got a bit better now, although I still love my dough. This was a bit taller, this one. Um, so I thought I would I would try a different brush, but I am a bit of a dough went nut. So 
But I did thought I'd have a go with that one and see how we go. And I've got quite a few brushes. I don't know what I've done with them now. Everything's being moved about. And these were on special offer. So I thought, well, I'll buy this pouch because it's bigger than my other one. Which was extremely handy. Oh. So I've got all my professional Winsor Newton number sevens in here. But I have a have other brushes. So I thought I'm going to put them in this pouch here. Um, and they would go with the acrylics as well. So obviously I'm not going to be using my Winsor Newton number sevens. So that was another little purchase from, I think I got those from Cassar as well. And I thought that was a nicer size. So I guess I messed up the camera a bit. Does any, have you missed anybody? Thanks for stopping by, guys. <laughs> Alfie. Oh, hi, Robin. Welcome to Bunny's Designs. Anybody else that's popping in? If you've got any questions, put them in caps. Um, I'm just going to ask Cubby for another coffee. It's going to be a coffee day. Nigel, darling. Nigel, yeah. may I have another coffee, darling, please? The throat, throat's a bit croaky. A bit yes, please. Can you take those, darling, please? And put them in, please. Thank you. Right. So that was that little mini haul, which I'm going to put back. But we had a lovely time until I came back. And then that's when I started with a headache uh, when I came back from from London. Um, I didn't actually tell them that I could have picked something up, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe I picked something up from somebody. Oh, Alfie crossed my door. <laughs> I can put those in there. Um, thinking about it, yeah, I think I'm going to give her those acrylics. I was going to do some miniature painting, but I've been so poorly since the the exhibition um and that bag hasn't been touched for um two months i think <laughs> so i need that for tomorrow I need to put that somewhere handy i haven't been through the bookcases yet um still wake up with my headache so um watch this space I wonder if that's what we're doing there. Let's see if that will go. Just so. so I've got my other brushes, but see, I'm a bit of a number one Derwent nuts brush. <laughs> I love my Derwent brushes. And I don't think I need to carry that around with me so that can go away because I have my, my daddy's. Uh, pencil case. Um, if hubby comes past, I'll ask him to pass me something. Uh, so what I thought I'd do today is I found <laughs> my inserts for my Derwent brush. And I had a comment from one of the, an early video that I made oh, quite a while ago. And um, Somebody said, oh, what a good idea to put your Neos in a Derwent art bag. And I thought, oh, right. <laughs> so instead of buying a new pencil case, which is what I was going to do, um, I'm going to put these into my Derwent art bag where they were originally. And I'd forgotten all about it. And what I normally do is if you put one of these in here, you can't see it. I think I got two in one thing you can't really see it so what i used to do is i made some strips um, and if you do bone folder oh, not handy should have if you use a bone folder i'm sorry about the hand and um, my mum's oak bureau um i think I think I'd get away with half again. My mum's old oak bureau is uh, doesn't wasn't made with nails, so it's all turn and groove. 
and I picked the drawer up. It's very old, but the drawers are huge. And um, the drawer bit me. <laughs> so, so I, I like them like this. And it does protect. Oh, oh, here we go. Naughty boy again. So there's one. And you can see the colours as well a lot better. So I thought I would do this. And I'm going to put them all in colour order. So it might be a little bit boring, but hopefully not. tend to like um, my neos but when you're looking at the neos I don't need to use my little book um, which should be right in front of me so this is my revamped little book of watercolors and I do have my neos so when I have this out to to use the neos actually as a crayon um i use this as well because oopsie no 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 i don't use that i use this because this gives me um a lot better i wonder if i should make a i might actually use you see if i put another crane in there then might um I could do a little bit of a scale there, but I always have my little book with me anyway. So when you're looking at um, cinnamon, which is number 55. Oh, there it is. So when you're looking at cinnamon, you see that that's the only colour you see. But when I look at my little book, I see 10 shades. So that's why I normally do that. Oh, hi, Marilyn. Welcome to Bunny's Designs. Everybody else popping in. Oh, Robin says, I, I store my full set of nails. Well, I did this quite a few years ago. Thank you, darling, for the coffee. <clears throat> Quick slip. Sorry, guys. Big Ben's going again. Um, so I normally have my little book anyway. Um... But I do use it as a reference. When I've got the crayons like this, I do use this book because, as I say, you look at the end and that's the, what you think you've got, whereas you haven't, you've got 10 shades. And that's why I always, nearly always use them with, um, I scratch them on a palette. And I did find my old palette yesterday. And I bought it from Asda for $1.99 and it's a chopping board. But it's a bit rough, so I've got a couple of plain plastic ones. I don't like it because you, you've got because it has a, a rough texture. It's not very rough, but it's a little bit. So I, this is the system that I use. So we've got um, the color scale, we've got the actual crayon, and we've got them safe. So I've made two of those. I think I need to make two more, so I'll just two pieces. It's me doodling. So I, I said I did make this video, one of my first videos I made, because I do love my Derwent art bags, um, and they've got a bit neglected. Um, and anything for ease, so you know, it's, it's a it's a fold and tear thing, so there's no measuring. So this is just cheap printer paper, so it's fine to use. Has anybody got any questions? 
I don't know if, um, I think when you get the full set of Neos, you get a nice tin. But obviously, mine I bought individually. I suppose the other thing I could do, which is a bit, is a little bit kind of, Oh, mind you, I think I've got every colour, haven't I? I think. I didn't buy, if I had the in the Neo Aqua box, I didn't, the thick, chunky original ones, I didn't buy it in the in the Neo Color 2s because it's the same thing, basically. Very similar. I'm just thinking if I should put them together. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. Because I don't actually use them. I never use them, which is such a shame. left with this silly head I can't concentrate a lot of the time so I need to write every single thing down um, and I might keep those little squares just for testers I don't like to waste anything so if I put them, I can use them for testers um, I'm tempted to put to put my babies oh. Now, while I was in hospital, this arrived. I don't know if I can get the top off. So this was another present to myself. Ah, just found the brushes. <laughs> so Hubby brought me this. Um, Hubby brought me this is the these are the brushes that I want to move. All these. So Hubby brought me this in the hospital, but I just didn't have any patience to do anything. And, and they put all my brushes in there. So I've got, I've got there's a little water pot in it. And it's an original um Reeves book so I bought this and the it's a metal because I thought I'm getting away from plastic so that slides in in there sorry about the rattle um and I thought what I would do these are these are porcelain they're not plastic so what I thought I'd do is when these go I can put my professional colors in there um, but I did love it. I know it's a bit battered and bashed, but I loved it. So I think I might put that actually in the bottom of there. Make it look a little bit better. Um, most of these I probably would use for acrylics, not, not watercolours. But the girls just chose some paintbrushes for me. And then I can go back in. They're not going to go back in. Um, where can I put these pictures? Oh, and my watercolors. These, these are my. I took them out of the Cotman um, Forty Four series. I took them out of the box. So actually, I think that's probably a good place to put those and she and she couldn't find my electric eraser so she brought put me that one in <laughs> and she put me some watercolor paper in as well so that was one of my birthday treats um and then i bought a couple more but um they are victorian they're victorian book um writing slopes and a Victorian stationery box for a ship, for a captain. Oh, 
wonder why it's not shown that. There we go. Not quite, not quite up with the chat, guys. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by, guys. Hope everybody's all right. Oh, hi, Patricia. Welcome to Penny's Designs. Um, I was going to fish for this. So I just had a thought. Because I, I cannot use these in this box. I love these. These are my babies. So these are the original near color twos. And I really wish they'd bring them back because they are such a lovely shape. Um, now, if you see a box like this or you see these, they will be oil pastels. They're not water based, but these are the Neo Art water soluble wax pastel but when you see them now in this chunky gorgeous chunkiness which i would think there's probably quite a lot more yes i would i would say there's there's maybe double the amount it doesn't actually tell you i really should weigh them and see but i, li I like these and these can snap easily but they can't so i really want um karen dash because they've got the molds for these they use for the others to put the neo color twos in this set now this set was 199 pounds you say it very quickly but the reason i bought it is absolutely adore my set of 15 which i think i've given to my daughter they're in the other side i really like the set of 15 um and this is the set so I bought, I had quite a few of these Neo Color 2s and I sent off literally two days before I went to pick up my pastel box. Alfie Cross, in and out, in and out, bless him. Um, and I would not have bought the additional 30 sum to make a full set. Um, but I went to, to pick up the box and I found this in an art shop. Um, actually underneath the shelf it wasn't even on the shelf um they didn't have it i would have preferred it in the the thingy box the, the cardboard box because i never use them in here because they're just either too precious or it's getting this box out so one thing i could do is i could put them in the Derwent art bag next to so if we have a yellow they should be in order but they're not um, so I've got a Sahara yellow I'm not sure if I have a Sahara yellow in that one two five two oh I have Sahara yellow so I leave those babies. There's just one or two I haven't got. Um, and but I must get these babies out more. Um, but when I do the art in the in in the studio, I've left my big art stuff um, that I will be doing. And oh gosh, the only thing is I can't lift can't lift the box. I can't lift the box. Sorry, guys, it's just too difficult. No, I've changed my mind and I didn't put that back, but never mind. I think there is a list. There is a list in here of all, of all the shades. Yeah, so we've got all those shades here. And they put the light cadmium red over there with the browns and I like them in colour order, so I've changed. So they're handy to use in this, um, but if you drop them on the push, I have done twice, um, it's it's not very practical. So that's the Chinese green, which I've left with the greens, and they've all come out of colour order now, which I'm not happy about. Because that's going to be another big, big thing to do. Is to put them on a colour order. And it's very boring watching somebody put things in colour order. That's six 
extremely boring. That one wants to go over there, I think. That one is green ochre. So I'm just going to put my ochres over there. I don't know why they've got out of sync. So I do like them in these little trays, but I think they're not very practical. Oh, there's the olives, because I was using them the other day. I didn't put them back. So I think I'm going to put the olives. It's green. I'm going to put the olives here, I think. olives there so I've got warm browns dark cool browns olives dark browns blacks and greys and whites I've got the reds here oranges yes it serves me right for not putting them back doesn't it really I think what I may do is actually put them in the order they're in my little book here and then I can see what I'm doing so So I've got my pale yellow is number 11. Pale yellow. So I'm going to put them order that I have them in the book. I think that would be easier. So we'll do the yellows first. I'm sure I've got those there so in the dough went art bag open it up and we have I think I've got one extra here but it's fine sorry big Ben's going again silly hands do not work anymore sorry guys my hands are really bad so when you buy these Derwent art bags you can buy additional sleeves and the additional sleeve has one less um pocket in it because they have an extra grommet in the middle so that's a bit annoying because you you get all the others but this one there's there's a a grommet stuck in the middle whereas the original ones that come with the bag just have two so you've got that extra one there if you want it but that makes sense so i love my derwent art bags and I used to keep all sorts of things in them so i should put and i put the rough edge inside sometimes you've got two rough edges so I'll just do this really quickly, a page, and then you can see how I'm, do Oops, how I'm doing it. So we've got number 11 is pale yellow. I think I'll start here. And then once you get one or two in, it's going to hold the paper in for you. That's pale yellow, um, Sahara yellow. She looks like Sahara yellow, that one. Now the first one you get one in, and, and I'm a bit of a, I like to know what color it is. And you can actually turn these to show the color, so that's quite good. So some of them are at the back and some of them are at the top. So the next one is, um, I think it's Naples yellow, which is that one. Oops, I've broken that one. 
that one is I've got two Naples yellows so I can put that in a box for later lemon yellow And some are really old. I think they're the same, actually. They have the same number on them. So that's a number 10, 0010, and that's a 0010. So that was just a yellow. You can leave that one there. That says orange oh, yellow. Canary yellow is next. And number 10, plain yellow. And the other thing you can do is when they're in here, you if you don't want to take them out, you can just use a water brush and touch the, the tip. So you don't have to take them out. You can use them like this if you want which again is quite handy to have them in this. Uh, I brought that one up because it's a yellowish orange. So that's um, the first five. So we've got uh, Paleo Sahara Yellow. I want Lemon Yellow. That's number 10, what's happened to Lemon Yellow? I've lost lemon yellow, so I better leave a space. So that one goes in there, that one goes in there. Oopsie. And then we have golden yellow, which is that one. I've got two golden yellows. And we have golden cadmium yellow. I seem to have lost quite a few colours. Oh no, I know what it is. That one's in the big set. So I haven't got that one in this set. So the next one is orange. What I did in the book is I put the other ones in there as well. So that, that's the fast orange. I've got apricot. Um, did I put orange yellow up here? Yeah, orange yellow I put down the back as so I did have it a few other colours there. So that's flame red and orange red. Some of these colours I have in here are in the big set that I've just shown. And the red orange, I think the red orange one is the one that's down there. Flame red, I think I've got a red orange. So the next one is flame red. So I've still got quite a good selection some pale yellows, warm yellows, oranges, red oranges, but it's still quite a good selection even though I'm not putting the bigger ones in with them so the next one I uh, put saffron here but I think I've moved those away because down here so these are all the orangey kind of stuff. Oh, mm, Alfie's gone again sorry guys yeah 
this and I kept that one with it. I'm going to keep those with the cinnamons, I think, because those are kind of um, browns, fallen pale browns. Yes, Marilyn, you can do it that way. Um, I'm going to put those back with the browns down at the bottom there. If I can keep them in colour order. I think I like to keep them in that one. Um, yeah, the Venetian reds in here are more of a brown red. So I've left those at the back so that I'm going to here for vermilion next. Because I, I like the, 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 the brownie oranges to go with the brown. So we've got, um, again, I've got two scarlets. I've got an old one and a new one. So put that one in. We want cadmium red. Now, I haven't actually got cadmium red in this one. It's very strange, that. Um, so I've got raspberry. I'll put our mine in that one. So I'll just do a page and you can see how it works. But it's quite nice because, again, they're in palette order. So they're all in kind of simple order. Um, that one is raspberry red. They're pinks. So you've got scarlet. There should be a ruby red. Light cadmium red. And number 70. So let me take those two out because they're just turning on the pinky bit. Just turning on to pink pink reds so these are more orange reds so some more orange is light cadmium red and this one is number 70 60 70 and 70 is scarlet I think yet yeah, two scarlet some of them come in old sets and some are in new sets. And then we've got ruby red. And we've got scarlet, which I've just put in, I think, haven't I? Let's put those around. It would drive me insane if they're in the wrong order. And um, carmine, which is that one. So then we get into the pinky reds. This is burnt carmine. So, oh, this is Indian red. I did put Indian red with this one. I thought I'd put them at the back. Um, I've already got raspberry red. Got carmine. The red. Crimson, oh, these are in crimson, so we're getting back into the pinks now. Purple. So it'd be quite nice to get the pinky purples together. Purple violet is a pinky purple. Oops. And the last one is lilac. Ooh, lilac. And I've got another one here, which is mauve. So they're the pinky ones. So I'm going to turn over. Two pieces of paper there and there. I mean, you can do it neater than that if you want. And I've got three purple blues. So we've got periwinkle blue, which is at the end there. So what happens is they follow on. So we've got yellows, oranges, reds, pinky reds, purples. And then we've got purples, purple blues and mauves. And uh, I kind of like that order. So here we've got the blue purples. That one is a bit dark. 
So they're all duplicates apart from the browns. The bottom now. So I won't show you more because it's quite boring, but you get the idea. It takes a bit of time, but the nicest thing is once you've done it, they're in order. Um, I may swap a couple of those round a bit later, but they're all in order. They're all safe. And if you want to do, you can put um, a sketchbook in there and some water brushes and you lay. And again, that's what I loved about having them in this system. And the, the paper protects the back, but it also gives the colours they pop out so we know that they're, they're better. Um, so that job to do while watching TV tonight. And then I've got some other water-based crayons. Um, I've got some Derwent's pen, um, some Derwent ones. Um, I've also got my um, Derwent art bars and they need to be put into here as well. So I should put all the, the water-based, watercolour crayons will all go in the same bag. And then what I normally do is I put a little slip here and it'll say Derwent watercolour. Um, it'll say watercolour crayons. So all my watercolour crayons will be in one bag. Uh, and I'm going to hang this up behind my other desk outside. So I shall just pop those out of the way.